ever been before. Central banks continue to print money. Fortunately, the world has a new solution. Experts predict in seven years, 10% of the world's economy will be in crypto-based assets. Today, 1 billion people have access to the financial industry. Crypto is about empowering the other 6 billion people by banking the unbanked. Do not underestimate this. Do you wish you invested in Google, Amazon, or Netflix before anyone ever knew about them? $1,000 invested in Netflix turned to over a half a million dollars. At Token Metrics, we help you find the next Netflix. Token Metrics users think differently about investing. They are early adopters looking for financial freedom. They are people who see a better world. A world without international borders. We believe in a world where everyone has access to the next financial revolution. At Token Metrics, we are creating a bridge that gets you to that revolution. We will help you make sound investments in this new world. The world's best investors do not rely on their intuition. They embrace technology and AI to invest. Token Metrics uses AI to find invisible patterns in data to help you invest and trade in crypto. In the past, we have used our data-driven system to achieve financial freedom. Now, we are giving you the keys. We created Token Metrics to be the only platform you'll ever need to make money in crypto. Yeah, we give do you, you see any AI people? and access to crypto experts at the best price. <clears throat> the moon is not the limit. To the moon and beyond. <clears throat> Disclaimer. Token Metrics Media LLC does not provide individually tailored investment advice and does not take a subscriber's or anyone's personal circumstance into consideration when discussing investments, nor is it registered as an investment advisor or broker-dealer in any jurisdiction. Information contained herein is not an offer or solicitation to buy, hold, or sell any security. The Token Metrics team has advised and invested in many blockchain companies. A complete list of their advisory roles and current holdings can be viewed here at tokenmetrics.com slash disclosures. All right, all right. Hello, ev hello, everyone. Welcome to the 100X Show. And we have the pleasure of having a good friend of mine, Gary, join us on the show. Gary, how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Great, great. Uh, cocktail. <laughs> all right, so... I, 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 <laughs> show. <laughs> da, da. So I've had the pleasure of uh, knowing Gary over... Over three years now, I think, since 2018. Yeah. And then also met your business partner yeah. in 2017. And I've been very, very impressed with what Spaceship has been building since the beginning. Uh, and I'm very glad to have you on the show. And I'm glad to have you come here and kind of tell the whole entire world and our audience the journey on what Spaceship is building with uh, a crypto wallet. So welcome on the show. Thank you, and Thank you for having us today. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I think let's let's hop straight into it. Um, so we'll be taking questions via Mentimeter. So let me let me pull that up and just give me a second. So this is going out to all our to our audience on YouTube, on Twitter, on Periscope, on on everywhere pretty much. And this also gets turned into a podcast. So be sure to join our podcast. Just go to tokenmetrics.com slash podcast to subscribe. And be sure to smash the like buttons and to subscribe if you like this live stream. Okay, all right, so let me pull up the Mentimeter code. So if you want to submit any questions to Gary via this Ask Me Anything, this, this AMA, go to menti.com, that's M-E-N-T-I.com. Use the code 97906221, that's 97906221 to submit any question on Spatium or even in crypto. 
Right now, these questions are purely for Garrett. These aren't questions for me. So please keep them purely focused on Spatium and Garrett. And with that being said, let's hop into the show. Okay, um, just let me just make sure everything is good. Uh, if anybody's having any issues with the stream, just be sure to comment down in the in the live stream. But everything seems to be good. Sound is sound is fixed. Video is fixed, so everything should be good. Okay. All right. So. All right, Gary. So tell me more, or, or tell our audience about yourself. Who is Gary? Okay. So. Um... Uh, before the experience with the blockchain, I successfully started several companies in uh, marketing and ad tech space. Uh, so I founded the company, like my first entrepreneurial journey started back to 2003, where I started my uh, first company. Uh, and then my company joined the big international marketing and media group called Vivendi. Uh, I was also running uh, so several uh, ad tech companies and, and digital marketing companies. Uh, so, and uh, back to 2016, I actually made one of the exits in my previous businesses and start kind of uh, investing in uh, different asset classes and start researching on, on the kind of opportunities around the blockchain, basically. Nice, congratulations. So can you maybe kind of share more on what happened with that exit? Uh, so it was good, like I had some business which was successfully uh, sold to one kind of uh, big retail group. And uh, basically I had some time to think of like what to do next in my life. So mm -hmm. that was a kind of transformational uh, time for me. And I actually uh, decided to kind of continue studying. So I went to the University of Chicago's uh, Booth School of Business for my master's degree. That was kind of, uh, uh, kind of the, 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 the way to explore what to do kind of uh, next, especially in the fintech space, because I was very excited around the fintech space. Uh, and I had very good kind of uh, uh, classmates and team and, and, and also the faculty around the university, especially my professor of the fintech revolution. He was inspired me a lot uh, to kind of research on the stuff. Mm -hmm. And I actually start uh, investing, like I first my Bitcoin uh, and it was uh, 2017 uh, when you actually, uh, you remember Marat, my partner? Yes. So yeah. we actually start, start investing in, in, in around the space and start facing the first challenges, like how the custody stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, storing crypto assets is very, very tedious in the crypto space, especially with new coins, uh, right? Because yeah. even me, like uh, people know that uh, I have been hacked, right? So so actually the first time I met you guys, <laughs> I, I met your business partner was in Korea, right? He, 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 yeah. he came to our Crypto World Tour event, um, then also met him in Barcelona at a Crypto World Tour event there, and then also met, then ended up meeting your team in Kiev, Russia, and having the chance to kind of see what you guys were building on at that time, which was a hardware device. Yeah. And, I, and I, I found it very, very fascinating that your entire premise is you were trying to remove the private key because uh, that's kind of adding friction to onboarding people into crypto if they have to kind of be very, very technical. So I'm very kind of interested to, 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 to learn more about how you guys are trying to innovate and create new, new, new ways to store crypto assets. Yeah, so it actually came from our own pain. Uh, so we uh, we actually met our co-founder Valeri, who was that time uh, uh, kind of military level cybersecurity professional uh, and uh, expert around the kind of uh, cryptography. And then we bring him an idea that we should find some solution because we kind of start investing around the space and uh, and we have challenges uh, because the custody and management of the of the digital assets and, and our bitcoins was quite a hassle mm -hmm. so and then we start thinking what we can do like how we can actually protect ourselves and make it more functional and and then when that basically valeri joined us as a co-founder and cto for the project uh, and then uh, we start kind of understanding what are the problems and what are the solutions we can bring uh, so, and uh, 
a kind of, and the something which we were building for ourselves becomes eventually a project. And we kind of, we feel like our mission is kind of democratized the way uh, people get to the digital asset space. So, and then we see like there are, uh, like we understand that there are several problems around the industry. So people are not like, uh, not everyone are kind of crypto geek or uh, like have a very specific skill set. So uh, it's, it's not like easy for the normal person I know, to set up a wallet, to understand like how to manage all the different digital assets, how to connect to different applications. So it's not kind of um, uh, easy for the normal person to understand. Uh, plus, if you get through all this understanding, then you have to uh, manage your private key, which is another, another problem. Uh, so where to put the private key, put it under your pillow or like print it on the paper, uh, how to kind of safe keep it. Uh, so, and then, uh, and then this is kind of, it, it comes to with the problem of the kind of taking responsibility. Like not everyone is ready to take a responsibility that if something happens to a private key or just you forget your credentials or passwords or something happened to the seed phrases, then your funds just gone and disappeared. So because, because people get used to, to the normal uh, traditional services, if something happens, they can restore, they can call to the customer service and ask for the recovery. That's normal way how you manage stuff. And then in the crypto, it's completely not like that. So that was like all the, all the insights coming to us and then uh, and, and the personal pain we actually were um, kind of facing. And then we had the people who actually kind of uh, faced the similar problems. For example, we, have a, we had a, our teammate brother who actually was doing the trading on exchange. So mm -hmm. basically he was using the custodial solution. So we, we had, he had all the money uh, on the exchange. And um, so what happened one day is that the owner of the exchange, he just, you know, he just transferred all the money from the exchange and disappeared. You may you remember this? Oh, uh, uh, Quadriga Chinese, Chinese. or a different exchange? Uh, I, IDEX, I, I, IDEX uh, I think it was IDEX. Uh, IDEX exchange from China uh, and okay. it was around 250 million uh, worth crypto was just, you know. Wow. Uh, was wow. I mean, so, <laughs> yeah. so, so the founder just vanished <laughs> with 200 million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. It was just on the headlines next day. It's like the, the, uh, the, the owner of the, of the exchange disappeared with the, all the money. So, <laughs> the, oh, wow, incredible. The, I, I'm sure I'm sure you know all the like similar examples. Yeah. So then, and then we had a, our kind of um, teammate brother who was trading on that exchange, and basically mm -hmm. he was using the custodial solution. So another another example is like uh, uh, like there was a, my classmate whose wife actually bought some bitcoins uh, on her mobile wallet, and mm -hmm. he just you know he. Uh, updated an application. He just remembered the application's password, but she did, can, she does, does not remember her seed phrase. So he is calling me the night, saying like, uh, "So can you help me out? I mean, my wife she cannot like uh, recover the stuff." I said, "Does she have a seed phrase?" He said, "No." I said, "Like, just forget about it." <laughs> and it was about I know yeah. uh, fifty thousand worth crypto just you know disappeared from the wallet. So wow. that's that's kind of <laughs> that's yeah. the, just a, a simple examples like what are the problems for the for the people to manage and custody stuff. So you have from one side you have a custodial solution, and for the custodial solution you have to trust someone who actually take care of your funds, and if uh, and then you basically take all the counterparties, and then you have another another option is that you you become your kind of um, like you do the self custody, so you, your own you bank. use a hot wallet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can kind of your own bank using the cold storage, hot storage, whatever storage, and then you basically you know need to you know uh, take all the responsibility uh, for for managing stuff. So that and then what we realized that uh, the crypto industry has changed. Like since, since the times we like meet first time, I know. Uh, three years ago, so so many ha things happened. For the past ten years, many things happened. So mm -hmm. we have a uh, like it's not like 
like in the early stage of crypto, many protocols are coming, uh, DeFi, like uh, a lot of opportunities around the space, even, even central banks are now start issuing the central bank digital currencies. So uh, kind of we have a huge development around the industry, but we still have this legacy of private, like public private key concept, which is uh, not actually meeting the challenges and, uh, and at the problems of, of the modern crypto world. So, um, and that was the reason uh, why actually our kind of uh, co-founder and tech team uh, decided that we need to kind of find a solution and they come up with the idea that we need to kind of get rid of this single point of failure. Uh, and so that's why this Spartium actually idea comes as a, uh, as a keyless wallet, wallet where you don't have a uh, private key. So, and then we, what we do, we bring the convenience uh, of owning crypto and without worrying about the security and combine the benefits of custodial and non-custodial wallets in this part. Um, okay, uh, that's, so, that's, that's good, that's good. All right, uh, yeah. so to our audience, definitely feel free to comment down below with any questions. We'll also be taking questions via Mentimeter. Okay, here, let me just check in with our audience and see how we're doing. Welcome everybody. I welcome Facebook family, uh, YouTube family, Twitter family. Uh, hey Carlos, actually, uh, sorry, I forgot to do sh shout outs. Let me just shout out to FW two one nine nine for being first on the stream. AC Shopping Mall, Christy TCM. What's up, Rob? How are you? Hope everything is good. Uh, Sebastian, Eric, Christopher. Fabs, what's up, Fabs? Movie Club 4K, uh, Niths, Praveen, Red for Danger, Sammy, every hello, everybody, Mark, ACR, Asan, Anaru, Crypto Compound, Carlos, Marvin, Red for Danger, and Mogos Inc. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. Be sure to smash the like buttons and subscribe if you haven't yet already. We're trying to take our entire crypto family to the moon and beyond. With, the, with with our content and our live stream. So thank you all for being able to join. Now, if you have any questions you would like to submit, we'll be taking questions via Mentimeter. So just go to menti.com. That's M-E-N-T-I.com. Use the code 9790621. That's 9790621 to submit your questions. We'll also be taking some questions as well via the comments, but uh, the first preference would be through mentimeter.com. So go there to ask any questions you have. So uh, let's have Gary. So Gary, uh, I've pulled up this Paytm website. Could you maybe kind of uh, explain as I'm kind of walking through it here? Kind of kind of giving an overview on what Paytm is. Um, hello, Gary? Yeah, just uh, in the simple way we, we provide the solution for where well, we you don't have to uh, remember anything, uh, you don't have to put down any seed phrases or um, or store any private keys at all. So uh, in our solution, we actually use kind of different approach because uh, uh, kind of uh, in in, in the situation, then you have a single point of failure. Then someone gets in the middle and takes control over your private key. It means that you don't control your money anymore. So in our situation, there is no private key at all. And then we use a technology called secure multi-party computation. So basically, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and based on this technology, uh, uh, there are protocols like threshold signature schemes where, uh, where we replace the private key basically with the, uh, and, and remove the single point of fail. So instead of the private key, our technology implements secrets that are generated independently. So you have your secret, one secret generated on your device and another secret is generated on the security provider and this completely independent secret that, that never meet each other and they are uh, and never stored in one place. So, and mathematical calculations between the secrets, they actually do the same role as the, as the private key. Um, and then, on top of that, you can always recover your wallet uh, with, and, and, the, uh, uh, and the backups and seed phrases uh, in our solution. 
uh, they're replaced with a completely new uh, privacy first biometric backup, which is based on neural network that encrypts your face into an anonymous biometric code without storing any personal data. So you can never lose access to okay, your wallet so, so, so if, you, quick question. if you key yourself. Yeah. So you're building a crypto wallet that's software based, but with no private key, right? And you're saying that you're replacing that using secrets. That, that's kind of the, the technology, right? You have secrets between the, between what, multiple devices, kind of like 2FA? Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's called uh, threshold uh, cryptography. So, so in order to sign the, the transaction, uh, several parties might actually co cooperate to do this kind of, uh, to sign this transaction. So uh, in, in our situation, what happens is that you have a, your public key on the blockchain, and then you have a, uh, your plan, transaction data, and then you need the signature. So in the traditional way, uh, kind of in the legacy way to sign this transaction, you use a private key. In our approach, you use, you use, you use threshold signature scheme. So, and then in this uh, uh, scenario, you have a, you, one secret which is generated on the, on the user's device. Uh, and it's a uh, backup with the user's anonymous biometrics. And there's another secret which is generated on the uh, Spotium site. Uh, and these secrets are kind of independent and they, uh, they, they kind of, through the mathematical calculation, they, they actually sign the transaction, but nothing stores in the middle. So if hacker hacks your phone, uh, he cannot do anything with that. Or if something happens to the service, uh, still your funds are safe. And then you have a total control over the funds while the security provider who actually keeps the confirmation secret doesn't have an, any access to a wallet. So is it kind of like a multi-sig wallet then? Uh, in the, in, in the multi-sig wallet, it's, it's kind of different approach because uh, in multi-sig wallet, you have uh, several parties keeping the part of the private key. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the end, you still have this single point of failure. Uh, in, in our uh, scenario, uh, you don't have any anything, uh, any private key being generated uh, at all. Okay, very interesting. So now, how is this different from other crypto wallets, right? So now I've seen other people as well who are trying to create uh, also kind of keyless wallets, right? So how is your technology kind of different? Uh, so, um, again, we're using uh, secure multi-party computation and then we are the uh, first company who actually uh, used uh, this technology in the crypto wallet. So we have mm -hmm. created the first in the world crypto wallet uh, without the private key. So basically the keyless wallet. Uh, and then, uh, oh, oh, in, 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 the, in the market, there are kind of solutions are basically divided to uh, between custodial and non-custodial options. So, um, and then there are, as you mentioned, few approaches. They're trying to solve the security and functionality issues like a multi-seq wallets uh, or smart contract wallets. But this solution, are, uh, they have a limited functionality and, and they have a kind of uh, certain blockchain compatibility by design so that they, mm -hmm. they can be created for the certain blockchain. In our city, we are completely blockchain agnostic, so we can actually create the public key with the secrets on, on the, any blockchain. So, um, okay, very interesting. So, it, so how many yeah. cryptocurrencies can you support? As many as you like, pretty much? Yeah, so we have now currently we have all the major. Uh, blockchains and, and all ARC and also you can add that custom token as well. Okay, uh, that's good. That's good. So tell us what you think uh, down in the comments below. Okay, let me just check in here with the audience and see how we're doing. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, hello, Asan. Uh, hello, Thai. Hello, Vidak. Hope you're doing well in, uh, in India. Hey, Marvin, in South Africa. Okay, um, sorry, just give me one second here. Okay, so typically on the show, we like to ask our audiences 
uh, I mean, our guests a few questions. So time for you to enter the hot seat, we call it. <laughs> so, so the first question is, what three books have changed your life? Okay, that's an interesting question. Let me think. Um, the one was uh, written by, by my professor in the university uh, called Capitalism for People mm -hmm. by Luigi Zingales. Uh, the, the second one, uh, it's about behavioral economics. Uh, uh and uh, the third one uh wait what's the title of book number two uh so it, 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 it's it's basically behavioral economics by professor tyler uh, -huh. uh and uh, we um the third one i would say like it's it's kind of you know uh, I have to pick between many, many interesting books. Um, okay, okay, okay. How about this? So, kind of tell us why you like the first one, the first book, Capitalism for People. You said. Yeah, it's just you know, it's just describing the uh, like, like the perfect markets and all the things related to the economics. So, um, uh, and. Uh, so, so what's your view on capitalism right now? Because the, the the world is kind of getting very, very angry with entrepreneurs and and people making lots of wealth, like Bezos and others. So, kind of what's the, what's your take between? I mean, obviously, not to get too controversial or into politics, but in terms of capitalism and how and kind of why you think it's a good way to kind of build uh, economies. Uh, I think it's like the, the, the project we do, especially Spartium, they, it gives kind of power in the hands of people to control uh, uh, basically uh, uh, their funds and their relationships. And we're kind of powering the decentralized economy by allowing the people fully control uh, uh, all the assets that they, they have on, on, on their non-custodial wallets. So uh, I think this is like the big contribution for our side to, to actually uh, make something easy to use and accessible for everyone. Uh, they, 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 they don't have a fear of uh, uh, losing their funds and they have an uh, opportunity to access any uh, decentralized application or take, kind of, uh, or, uh, take part in all the opportunities around decentralized world. So this is this is basically the mission of Spartium to uh, to power uh, ordinary people with the with the with the tools uh, which can kind of uh, make their life easier, basically. Okay, and then were you able to think of the third book by any chance? Uh, yeah. So. Um, uh, too many good books <laughs> yeah so the okay uh, the no worries first one could, yeah could be the uh the one i actually start reading um it's about entrepreneurial journey and uh, it's um uh, how to be a successful entrepreneur so i just uh, want to remember the name i think it was a um, mm, uh let me just remember so the, the idea is that uh, kind of what are the skills required to build a successful company and if the entrepreneurship is something coming with your uh, kind of uh, genes or, or it's coming like because of your have a certain uh, type of the personality or it's just some skill you, ha you can basically learn. So an, an idea was that uh, entrepreneurship is not something which is uh, kind of um, unique for certain people, it can, like, the successful uh, entrepreneur can be anyone. So anyone can have a, can, can learn a set of skills which kind of helps him to create a successful company. Uh, and uh, I will try to remember the name. 
as soon as I yeah. remember, I'll tell you the exact name of the book. But and I uh, strongly recommend people who wants to build the businesses or make a startup or create a company, uh, just you know, have a look on that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, as a fellow entrepreneur, uh, some entrepreneur, some entrepreneurship books I like are is Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I think that's probably one of the best philosophical books on being an entrepreneur and trying to build something great, right? And the entire premise is you aren't trying to do something that's just marginally better. You want to build something that's tenfold better. You want to go basically from zero to one, right? To, to a point where it's very, very binary in terms of how innovative this technology is. And I think, for example, blockchain and crypto is is going from zero to one because it's binary on how on how great this technology is. And I think that's why we're all here in this space. All right. Um, thank you for that, uh, Gary. Okay. All right. So next question for you. What are three actions you've taken that have changed your life? Um, okay. So uh, the first, I would say, is like... Uh, mm, uh, be able to take risks because uh, uh, you don't, I think you don't have to fear uh, anything in terms of the challenges you might face because um, when you start, first start any, any project, you might think of uh, all the competitors out there. You might think that you have to find some money to kind of fund this project or you have to meet the certain people who help you out to bring something, and then uh, and it's a lot of fear actually around this. So first uh, thing I would say that I um, I took a risk and I didn't uh, actually uh, and and this is something which can pay out if you do the things right. Um, uh, another decision I would say is that. Uh, uh, if you actually want to succeed in, in this kind of any particular field, uh, you have to really spend a lot of time on education. Like educate mm -hmm. yourself, doesn't matter. Go to university, do it at home, take online uh, classes, whatever. But you have to be really deeply involved in what you're doing. So, and then you have to really research uh, and, and uh, take, you know, get into deep details of what you you try to build so that's that's the another thing i would uh, uh, consider is, is a kind of valuable um, and the third thing is that uh, it's important to balance kind of stuff in terms of like if you uh, if you have a family or you have the people who you have to care about you uh, you, you don't have to forget this. So yeah, uh, so you have to really spend time for this, and then you have to find the right balance between all your uh, professional goals and, uh, and 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 the life you're basically living. Because life is not tomorrow; life is today. So you have to find a way to enjoy it, like and then uh, and yeah. balance all the all all the actually um, kind of efforts you you put uh, in, in in every direction. Yeah, well said. So family, education, and taking risks. Well said, well yeah. said. Gary for president. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Um, people are asking for the Menti code. Uh, let me pull that up again. So to submit any questions, go to menti.com. Uh, M-E-N-T-I.com. Use the code 9790621. 9790621. Uh, I see some people are also asking for questions uh, in the comments as well. Uh, we we as we answered the question regarding um, blockchain. So so Gary did mention that Spatium is blo is blockchain agnostic, so they can pretty much uh, list any cryptocurrency. Now, do you know how many exactly you support at the moment? How many cryptocurrency wallets you, you support? Uh, yeah, we support uh, uh, Bitcoin blockchain. We support. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, we support Litecoin, we support uh, uh, NEO, we support uh, Ethereum with all the Ethereum tokens, you know, uh, uh, so that includes uh, um, 
If you were to yeah, estimate, see, like, would you say you support 50 cryptocurrencies, 100, or is it kind of infinite because of Ethereum and, and all the ERC-20 wallets? Yeah, it's maybe, you know, 300 now, something like that. Okay. And what's the process okay. for adding a new cryptocurrency? Let, let's say somebody has some crypto in, in something that's non-ERC-20 that has, has, has its own blockchain. What's the integration process and how long does that take? Uh, currently, there are things we already have in the wallet and uh, and then you can add the custom token if it is an ERC-20 token. But we also have a roadmap where we'll be adding the uh, new blockchains every two weeks. So, and then we will be kind of researching what is like demanded from the market right now. Uh, and then so we basically we'll be adding uh, new blockchain and support new tokens uh, every every two weeks starting from the uh, next year. Okay, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then we have one last question for you in the hot seat. <laughs> so who are three people, uh, past or present, who have inspired you? Besides family and friends. Okay, so mm, uh, I would say the people who has inspired me are uh, my partners I'm working with because uh, we passed through uh, a lot of challenges and for the past three years we had a difficult times and, diff and many problems coming to the um, to us and then we always find the potential to motivate each other and uh, not give up and, and then you know uh, continue doing what we're doing so I think that my partners are the ones who actually uh, inspire me and I, I try to do best to inspire them as well uh, so another mm, uh, person who actually inspired me especially uh, get to the uh, fintech space I would say it's uh, uh, it's my professor at the University of Chicago uh, Luigi Zingales and I, I have great respect for him uh, and also uh, the third person who inspired me was the guy in the <clears throat> in in, uh, in the jury of the uh, startup competition where he actually rejected my idea. So when he rejected mm -hmm. my idea, he, he he inspired me a lot to fight for it, for this and you know continue to do what I'm doing. Wow, very interesting. So what yes. did what did he say? Uh, he said that uh, this is something like uh, he he was absolutely not believing in any uh, kind of. Uh, uh, crypto? blockchain related crypto stuff so I think that <laughs> this is all scam work. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he was he was so negative kind of on on the stuff we were presenting so and he he gave me great inspiration to prove him uh, like different yeah yeah I mean uh, I also find like as an entrepreneur uh, it's we, we always try to find inspiration everywhere right i mean uh, even sometimes we we might imagine some somebody has has done something to make us angry to then inspire ourselves right Cut. yeah absolutely so if someone criticizes you i mean my from my experience is that uh, it means that you're doing something right yeah yeah absolutely absolutely all right well thank you you're now out of the the hot seat <laughs> <laughs> okay Okay, uh, let me see. So people are asking, uh, will Spatium have a token? Uh, yeah, you remember that initially we had this idea and then we were even talking to you about the uh, Spatium token at the beginning and we actually uh, was preparing ourselves to make an ICO. And that was an initial plan to raise funding. Uh, so we almost like, you know, was like very close to issuing our token, but last time, uh, last minute, we actually changed our mind because we, 
we're trying to understand uh, the, the economics behind the token. So we want, didn't want to just, you know, issue the token in, in, to, you know, just to, uh, to, to raise funds and then just forget about this token and, you know, uh, put kind of token holders in the, in the difficult situation because uh, the monetization model we were planning at the beginning, you remember that we had the idea of this, uh, uh, of producing this hardware wallet. And then we eliminate this hardware wallet part and then uh, switch completely to the software-based application. That's why we decided that uh, if we change the business model and try to find something else, then we cannot kind of put our kind of community on, on risk by kind of issuing, issuing tokens. So we, we take another way. So we just, you know, went to raise funds on, from the venture capital funding. So we we actually fund, raised funds from the uh, from the venture capital firm and decided not to do the token. Okay. Now, what's the business model behind Spatium? How does Spatium make money? Because as a business, obviously, you have to make money to stay in business. Yeah, it's it's uh, quite simple. So we we have uh, um, uh, two monetization model in the in the retail part. So in the retail, we charge uh, uh, transaction fees for the exchange uh, to fiat and, and uh, from fiat to crypto, uh, and uh, and this is and our app is completely uh, free. Uh, so uh, we have also another uh, uh, service which is coming uh, soon, which is our premium wallet. In the premium wallet. You have an institutional grade custodian who is sharing security with you. So basically, it's a non custodial wallet with the enterprise level custody uh, uh, kind of sharing security with you. And this uh, option uh, is, has a, uh, is, is a premium option. For this, we have a subscription fee. So we will be charging monthly subscription fee for this uh, um, additional feature. Uh, and then we also have a B2B side of our uh, business where we have uh, banks uh, and uh, financial service uh, providers who actually use as a, our, our wallet as a white label solution. So they, mm -hmm. they integrate it to the infrastructure and then get instant access to the, uh, all, the, all the features and services Patum has. And for this, we charge onboarding fees as, as well as the maintenance fees for the uh, financial service providers. Okay, yeah, so I've actually pulled up the site here. So you'll be catering to banks. So the idea is to have banks custody their funds using your technology. And I see here also exchanges, uh, custodians, and DEXs, right? That's, that's kind of the plan to kind of have them use your technology to custody assets. Um, uh, not exactly, because we are at the end, we are a client side non-custodial solution. So when, when traditional financial services companies, they use our solution, it, it works for them like a bridge to the crypto world. And they have an, a chance to diversify the existing service range and they use Patrim solution uh, uh, and add whatever requirements they have on the infrastructure side. Uh, and in this particular situation, they kind of act as a security provider. So they have to uh, confirm every transaction customer make. And, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and, and in this particular scenario, they don't actually custody funds, uh, but they confirm every transaction customer makes. Okay, all right, interesting. Okay, well, uh, thank you. Thank you for that uh, business overview. So let's check in here with our audience again. Uh, I think we're getting some, que some questions in the chat. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Somebody was saying IDAX was the exchange that you were talking about. IDAX. Okay. Yeah, exactly. The Chinese one. Yeah. Okay. So now you mentioned, you mentioned DEXs, right? And now we're in DeFi and DeFi is blowing up overnight basically. So what is Paytm doing in, in the DeFi space and what exactly are you doing with DEXs as well? Okay, so what you can do with Spartan, we can, with Spartan, we can do many things. Uh, currently, you can, uh, what we do in, in our service is that 
we uh, we don't work with a particular dex in in for the exchange of the uh, of the tokens we uh, we aggregate uh, uh, liquidity from uh, uh, from many different exchanges including uh, uh, uniswap including uh, curve and balance uh, you know all these exchanges uh, and then we actually provide you best rates for the exchange so uh, basically through spartium you can have a uh, kind of single solution for the uh, accessing all the uh, liquidity available on the decentralized exchanges, like all available decentralized exchanges plus eight centralized exchanges. So that's uh, kind of we pr we provide this um, functionality to the to the clients. And in terms of the DeFi, we also creating another solution to aggregate to aggregate different DeFi protocols like Compound and Aave. Uh, so people can actually uh, lend money directly from the wallet uh, through their native interface and then uh, benefit from the opportunities around the uh, De De DeFi protocols. And then we also have a Wallet Connect feature. And from the Wallet Connect feature, you basically can directly access, uh, access any decentralized application or DeFi uh, services directly from the wallet. Uh, and and then you know uh, manage uh, all the all the transactions uh, with the uh, on on the kind of safe environment. Okay, interesting, interesting. So pretty much, whenever anybody goes to any DeFi DApp or site, they can just do Wallet Connect, and it will just integrate. Yeah, it will basically yeah. open up their Spatium wallet. So that gives you access to Absolutely. pretty much all yeah. of DeFi with Spatium. Yeah, yeah, completely. Okay, that's that's great. Um, okay, all right. Now, let me just take a look here and see what else we have. So, so is there anything you want to cover that we haven't had a chance to touch on in terms of what you guys are working on at Spatium? So I just want to mention that we are putting some more features and then adding uh, some more functionalities and like uh, we're updating almost uh, every week. So, and then we'll, we'll, help, we'll soon have uh, some more things coming out like uh, uh, automated portfolio management and, and, and staking of tokens and also access to tokenized equity and securities. And then we have another feature which is very interesting, which we call smart inheritance. And using the smart inheritance feature, it actually allows you to transfer access to the funds on your wallet if something happens to you. For example, you can preset the, the you know, anonymous biometrics of your, uh, I know, wife or, or, or spouse or, or kid, uh, uh, and then on the, some preset conditions, uh, this person will have an access to the wallet if, if something happens to you. Okay. So pre okay. Wow. So pretty much people can kind of pass off their, their assets to anybody yeah. after they, they yeah. pass away. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. yeah. N now, I, I think that's, that's the first time I've he I hear of something kind of like that, in crypto, at least, when it comes to, to wallets. I heard some approaches, but mostly based on the kind of smart contracts, but ours is different. We're using, again, this anonymous biometrics uh, where we actually generate the unique hash uh, from your face and uh, without storing any personal data or picture or nothing like that. So you, we, we can actually create this, uh, this digital identity or digital signature for someone you trust or you, you want to transfer the access to the wallet. So that, that works on the completely uh, kind of cryptography approach rather than smart contracts, smart contracts. Now the biometrics, what's that based? Is that based on the face, based on, uh, on fingerprints? Yeah, it's, it's, it's based on the face. So what happens if somebody face change? Like what if a person shaves or what if they get surgery? Does that mean they, they would lose their, the crypto? <laughs> no, it doesn't <laughs> work like that. So we have, uh, if, if you install the wallet and then you do the biometric backup, you will basically will be asked to do a liveliness check. So this liveliness check allows us to um, make sure that the person who is actually accessing the wallet 
is the is the is the live person. So you cannot fake it with the mask. You cannot fake it with the twins. I know uh, deep fake or whatever. Nothing works. So you can try. We try. We tried everything. Yes, but but I'm saying let's say let's say like I I have my biometrics right now. But let's say I get in a car accident and I have to have like my entire face gets changed, right? Can I still access my yeah. funds? How would that work? It's so you have actually two or two, yeah, second option. You you uh, you have a, a pepper backup anyways available in the wallet, so you can always do that. Okay. Uh, so that that's option is 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 available. But in terms of the damage, you you have to have really big damage. Uh, I don't know, which is more than seventy percent of I know of your existing uh, loop. <laughs> so that's <Yeah. laughs> so that's that's. That's really have to be something very, very kind of dramatically different, which is, I, I know, okay. because we, we yeah, it, the, the technology allows us to, you know, even if, if the, if the person, like the, 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 the uh, hash was taken 10 years ago, still it works like even if the, after 10 years. So, uh, it doesn't actually, um, uh, kind of very sensitive to the to the changes okay so a question from emmanuel uh, he's asking how so if does you, if if you go to the i don't know, surgery i would just advise you to make a uh, pepper backup which is a, <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah now so emmanuel is asking how does that work i think he's asking about the inheritance again uh, and the biometrics so inheritance you you put somebody as a as a backup, how does it know that you've passed away? Uh, actually, we don't know. It's a user's decision how to, how which actually condition he wants to put. For example, the condition can be that the wallet is not operational for one year. For example, nobody okay. accessed the wallet for one year, and then after that, this second person have an access. So that's kind of the, okay. that's the condition you you preset yourself. Okay, interesting. So we don't check. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't check uh, whatever happens. Yes. And then the biometrics happens directly in the in the application, I believe, right? Yeah. So yeah, basically, what you do when when you uh, when you register the app, uh, the app is very simple to register. Just do it with the free click. So, uh, and then you just have to make a backup in order to move the funds around. So, uh, and then what we do, we just, you know, we have this biometric backup uh, functionality, which basically converts uh, uh, your face into an anonymous biometric code. Uh, and, um, and it's actually used as the, as the user's identity. So, um, and then... It's kind of like face no ID, in a way. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, but there is no any data stored on, on, on the service. So no photo, no video, nothing like that. So we don't have any personal data at all. We just, uh, uh, you just convert the face into anonymous biometric code, which is just a combination of numbers. So you cannot do anything with this information. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right, um, thank you. If, if, if anybody has any questions on that, feel free to just comment down below. So let's check in with our audience and see how we're doing. Okay, so it seems people are, yeah, I think we've kind of answered all questions. People send most questions via the comments. Okay, uh, let me see what other questions we may have. Uh, so Crypto Family, if you have any any last questions for Gary, please post them in the chat and uh, we'll go through and try to kind of answer them. So, okay, so how about this? I have some interesting questions. So, so we have a an audience of crypto investors, so maybe kind of share... Uh, what crypto you own? What 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 what, what cryptocurrencies you like? Um, I I believe in Bitcoin, so mm -hmm. I think it's uh, one of the assets I uh, I kind of uh, always have in my portfolio. Uh, so and um, uh, I do some I do invest to some Ethereum tokens as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have some. Uh, I, I have some some uh, uh, portfolio of uh, decentralized exchanges tokens. Um, so uh, are you, now, now are you are you are you able to name which ones? 
um, um, uh, IDEX token, uh, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and um, uh, and also second layer, uh, second layer solutions as well. I, I uh, kind of um, see the ones uh, uh, which are developing right now. Any, any you like in particular for scaling? Uh, uh, it's a polka dot uh, tokens, uh, and uh, polka dot is very popular. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I just don't want to make any kind of investment recommendations. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Understandable, <laughs> understandable. <laughs> yeah. So just, you know, if uh, people trust in Bitcoin and they, they believe that in decentralized economy and the um, kind of... Uh, yeah. the, now, the now, obviously of... not financial advice, <laughs> this... but do you have, like, yeah. are, you, are you one of those people that you think Bitcoin could become the world reserve currency? Um, I, I, I believe that uh, it's, uh, it has a certain potential to grow and uh, uh, it, has a, um, it, it becomes less volatile with the, with the, like after the certain time. Uh, and um, I, I think it's, it's a kind of alternative for the, for the kind of reserve asset. Any Bitcoin price predictions you want to make? <laughs> no, and no, then... no, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay no worries no worries yeah okay all right so uh hold on let, let me just get some questions here from the from the audience uh just give me one second okay so we have a question from from thai diva um the question is, okay, so the, so the question is, or comment is, Spatium has to figure something out better than that. Uh, I think they're talking about biometrics or something, or inheritance, or only twins will for sure survive. I'm not sure I, I understand the question, but I think they're saying something about twins. Um, I, I think, was that the inheritance or the 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 biometrics I'm not sure i i quite understood that question um maybe if you could clarify the question uh by diva um any any comments on that in terms of only twins being able to use it <laughs> i think uh I know. I mean, I didn't understand the question, but uh, uh, so the, the anonymous biometric feature uh, gives kind of uh, creates the unique uh, uh, code which is uh, only belong to you. So this is the situation. Then no one else in this world could control your wallet. In in, in case you have a private key, if someone steals your private key, uh, then he kind of you don't control your wallet anymore. In our particular situation, there is no way any other person in the world except you can have a control over your wallet. So that's the that's the uh, absolutely different way how we approach the uh, the custody solution. Okay, all right. So hope uh, that helped, uh, Diva. And with that being said, uh, thank you for the questions. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of questions from the audience. Okay, so there's one more question from Naomi on Facebook. So Naomi is asking, what do you think of Uniswap? Uh, we, ha we have uh, Uniswap services already uh, engaged in our application. So if you use Patium, you have an access to the, uh, uh, to all kind of all the major DEXs, including the Uniswap. Okay, all right. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, because Uniswap has been blowing up, and they, and for all who who maybe don't know, because uh, if you're in crypto by now, you already know that they launched their own token, and that has really yeah. been the I think the biggest news for this week, and it's also been one of the biggest airdrops ever, and and I think at least me personally, I'm very bullish on on the, on their token, because if you're in DeFi, they're their biggest ex exchange in DeFi, and I think they've kind of really innovated and every other exchange is 
essentially just copying them, right? We have all these vampire mining forks that from sushi swap to sashimi swap to burger swap, but they're all trying to copy the original. And I feel like the original is always better, right? It's always better than the I mean, yeah, copycat. The, you, yeah, you have also kind of um, um, like similar um, services like like the balancer and, and the curve. I think they're also kind of um, very good and, uh, and advanced solutions as well. Okay. Okay, so uh, Thaydeva added more to her, I guess, her or he or him. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's a her. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, scratch that <laughs> because we are in a. Okay, anyway. So, the biometrics if someone's face is destroyed, that means they would be without funds. So, he mentioned that you could have a paper backup wallet, but I think he wanted or they wanted more options when it comes to that. So could you kind of speak to that? If someone's face is destroyed and they're not able to use biometrics, uh, are there other means besides just a paper backup that they can back up their funds or, or access their funds? Okay, so uh, you can always protect your biometrics uh, with the PIN and uh, except like if, uh, if, if you, there is like any fear of having the twin brother or twin sister doesn't matter, but uh, <laughs> uh, but on the uh, on the mm, damages side again, uh, we will be using this inheritance, uh, presenting this inheritance service where you can always transfer access to the funds to someone else uh, if uh, if like if something happens to you. So that's that's the option we provide to the to the users. Okay. And and I assume a user could also possibly just have two two wallets, where one transfers to the other wallet if they can't access this other wallet, right? Actually, in, in the inheritance uh, service which we're gonna uh, present next year because we are currently developing it, you you can have a multiple inheritance. You can have not one person, but you can have two or three people. You wanna kind of provide access. So that that actually depends on the scenario which you wanna implement. Yeah, I mean, because what comes what comes to mind is in crypto, so many people, myself included, have lost passwords to some wallets, right? Especially when you're brand new to crypto, right? But if you set up the wallet to have a backup, that's also yours. If for, for some reason you lose the 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 paper wallet or the the password to your wallet, then maybe after one year it transfers to your other wallet, and you have access again, right? So so all those people yeah. who lost Bitcoin hard drives, right? Would would never have lost their Bitcoin. They'll still have Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's it's a creative idea you had. So it's a good advice to the people. But anyways, so if if really you crashed your face and something happens, then uh, then you maybe in 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 one year, I know your wife and your kid uh, have like they too can have a access to the wallet, uh, Jack, uh, based on our inheritance mechanism. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So it's been a, it's been a great show. Uh, it was a pleasure having you on board, Gary. Uh, let's have you say some last words to our audience. Uh, yeah, I, I wish everyone uh, good health, uh, commit all these viruses around us. <laughs> so <laughs> take care of yourself uh, and uh, um, be part of the of the decentralized uh, economy which is growing and uh, to access with, with this world uh, what you need is just a spot to wallet that's it so if you could tell the entire world one thing about spatium what would it be uh, it would be uh, democratization of the uh, access to digital asset space. Great, great. And where can people learn more about you and Spatium? Uh, they can go to our website. They can go to our Telegram channel. That's Spatium.net? Uh, yes, absolutely. And they uh, and the, the best thing to do is just go to the uh, App Store or, um, or, or Google Play and just download the application. It's called Spatium Keyless Bitcoin Wallet. 
so they can they can uh, just try it out okay great great so comments from mogul saying congrats on an innovative product much success all right yeah so so it seems our audience definitely has an interest in it so definitely do check that out and and I've, I, and as mentioned uh i've known gary and marat and their entire team since 2018 and i've had the pleasure of seeing them evolve over time and disclosure i i don't own any investment in the company i uh, i this 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 has not been a paid review or or or, in, or interview this is just me just kind of finding people who are building uh, interesting things in the space and just trying to kind of give them a platform where our community can, can kind of learn more about what they're building and as usual right none of this is investment advice we're just merely sharing our opinions when it comes to uh, being entrepreneurs and being investors in the space and just kind of learning more about technology in the crypto space and when you hear somebody who's building something that's keyless that definitely does kind of ca capture our attention because we know for mainstream to really get into crypto you, we can't have people sending hex hexa dust all right i mean just having hexa addresses and all these things is very tedious and complex for the non techie people right so i think having things keyless is the way to go and i think that's the future that's how crypto goes mainstream and when you find people building like that it's, def it's definitely exciting with that being said it was a pleasure having you on gary and uh, as we like to say the moon is not the limit to the moon <laughs> and beyond <laughs> thank you thank, thank you very much thank you Jan. appreciate it Thanks likewise bye 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 everyone bye life-changing money to a point where you can buy your mom and dad a brand new house right you can pay for college loans you can invest in your future not have to work again pursue your dreams your passion not have to have a job work that nine to five grind right break the system hack the system this is what the sure is all about they said relax but never retire feeling detached never respond they told me relax but i can retire I'm feeling detached, never respond Like I would live on, but never rely You know the system, AM till 5 They try to say a job to give on, they living a lie Now here's the mission, die or decide you die The now. corporate life is so redundant when your freedom isn't free It comes to being someone, just believe that you can be And I, how can I have hunger when they tell me when to eat? How can I lead others when they tell me who to meet? Then they tell me when to come and then they tell me when to leave They say how much they give and then forget how much I need It's the precious to succeed with the lessons of the great I question who to be and saw this message is in me I gotta know Life changing money I wanna work for myself, I gotta work for myself, I gotta go You can invest in your future, Race not have to work to again the moon, put nerves on the shelf, I gotta know Pursue your dreams, your passion. I wanna stay free or want the safety. I gotta go. Break the system, hack the system. Although they paid me, this is what the they never all made about. me. I, I wanna go. relax, forever retire. I wanna detach, I'm feeling inspired. They told me relax, but I can't retire. I gotta detach, gotta decide. They got me thinking I would live on, but never rely. You know the system, AM to five. They try to say a job to give on. In the lie. Now here's the mission, die at the side, you would die now Ay, 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 I will never be a way slave, I gotta stay made Ay, 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 I used to see this in the eighth grade, wasn't a day late Ay, 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 I found the love that I was seeking, life that I'm leading Ay, 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 now I can do this every weekend Cause I'm a free man I was Aye. in Tokyo Riding the job wheel The rodeo Dancing with the devil For payment I couldn't do see -do, But I was driven The mission gave me an open road Made a decision to whip him Like it's a motor show Six figure slave I was paid Wasn't well though Heard of crypto underground It became my railroad Started making earnest money It's for whom the bell tolls Run from wishing for sales Clothes to sell Now I can relax uh. Forever retire now I'm detached, forever inspired Now I can relax, forever retired I had to detach, had to decide And now I'm thinking I can live on and not just survive You know this system, AM till 5 They try to say a job to give on, they live in a lie I made a mission, die at the side Do or die now, crypto retired
time it, yeah, that's where my mind went Started thinking higher, now they can't hire my time spent No, not retire like 65 when your job ends More like an island, and if I'm by it, I buy it Free travel, dealerships we dabble I reign like Leeds Castle, you reign like Seattle We went from sheep cattle to eating beef and mackerel It feasts, no lassos, just beliefs me in a saddle You gotta know like life changing like you want to work for yourself you gotta work for yourself you gotta go not have to work again raise spirits to the moon put nerves on the shelf you gotta know pursue your dreams your passion you want to stay free or want the safety you gotta go this is what the show is all about although they paid you they never made you no we can relax forever retire now we detach forever inspired now we can relax, forever retire We had to detach, had to decide And now we know that we can live on and not just survive We left the system, AM till 5 They try to say our jobs are give on, they live in a lie We made a mission, diet decide, do or die now I'm here to put you guys on and share all the different resources and tips I come across In my journey to making a million and making a billion Right? I'm trying to share this with the world for free. I'm not here to sell you some two thousand dollar course, ebook, webinar, whatever. Right? I'm here to put you guys on on the game for free, open source. Right? The same model as blockchain, Bitcoin, or these cryptocurrencies. I'm here to share everything with you guys. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com. Disclaimer. Tokenmetrics Media LLC does not provide individually tailored investment advice and does not take a subscriber's or anyone's personal circumstance into consideration when discussing investments nor is registered as an investment advisor or broker-dealer in any jurisdiction. Information contained herein is not an offer or solicitation to buy, hold, or sell any security. The Tokenmetrics team has advised and invested in many blockchain companies. A complete list of their advisory roles and current holdings can be viewed here at tokenmetrics.com.